Hey guys, welcome back to Broke Overland. My name is Chad, and today we're going to catch you up on a little bit of work that's been going on for the last couple of weeks. So as you can see, we uh, put our pedestal, it's a powered pedestal, um, so that we can lower it when we lower the bed. We don't actually need to lower it when we lower the bed, uh, if it's just the tabletop, but if we have anything sitting on the table, then the bed will actually come down and crush whatever we have sitting on the table. So if I don't want to clear off the table, I just push a button over here and it will lower that pedestal down. Plus we can lower it down so that we can actually make this a queen size bed as well. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to uh, redo the subfloor because uh, <laughs> it was not exactly the right length. So I had to recut a couple of those pieces. Um, and then I used the uh, filler strips that we were gonna put up there. I put those down there so that we don't have any vibrations when we're walking on the uh, subfloor uh, material that I put, I'm going to put over this. So the other thing we're going to do today is probably make some casings for these drawers. Um, but yeah, let's just jump in the shop and get started on it. So one of the other cool things about this table base is that when it's lowering, if you were sitting here and not paying attention and all of a sudden you, the table is going to come down and crush your legs, they actually sense the amount of current going through the motor linear actuator that, that's inside of here. And then if it actually sees a, a, a dramatic raise, increase or decrease in, in current, it'll stop the motor, which is kind of cool. So like if you have pressure on there, like say the kids are just sitting here and they're playing on it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, fun stuff. And it's nice and quiet. Nerdage. And just like that, we actually have ourselves a floor. So we'll put a face on that and all that good stuff and then box in the backsides so that uh, kind of holds it all together. Next, we have to build some cabinet boxes for our drawers um, and then we'll build some faces later once we have our uh, cabinet up top put back in and our backsplash done but that'll be in a later episode but anyways i'm not a cabinet maker uh, but i do know one who at least used to be a cabinet maker at one time or at least pretended to be but anyway uh, i got my father in the shop he's out here for thanksgiving so i figured i'd uh, conscript him into helping me build some boxes so let's get started So we're using a half inch three ply with a veneer face because nowhere in God's green earth could I find seven ply half inch Baltic birch. But yeah, so we've uh, cut our boxes, grooved them. Um, we're gonna use quarter inch for our base. Uh, we're using quarter inch. Uh, I've fold up one of the boxes here just so I can make sure it fits out in the truck and it does. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these things up, let them sit overnight and then we'll stick them in the truck.
Okay, well, since these are still tacky and making my life difficult, I'm just taking a piece of quarter inch plate because we want to have these rails 3 8 inch, no more than 3 8 inch up so that the uh, bottom of the drawer doesn't drag against our counter or cabinet. Let's go stick it in the truck and see if it fits. Well, that this is dry. My fat gut dragging on the thing. Oh, oh. Get out of the way, please. Uh, there we go. All right. And like magic, we have drawer boxes. So we got all our drawer boxes in. We got our flooring in. We got our new pedestal in. We have some added stuff here because we're going to go ahead and put a uh, magnetic drawer, uh, knife holder up here. Uh, then we've got some wall panel inserts, but that'll be in a later episode. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and give us a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm, gets this uh, content out to a few more people. You know, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. With the bed to get the bed. Fuck. We don't actually need to lower it. God. We don't actually need to load. We pick the least good, least gooder, the least best, the least bestest, and you know, we'll uh, chop out the spare parts. Huh? Nothing. Talking to a deaf guy, you know. Yeah, well, you know, they're going to love you at the home. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go home. Yep. Go cook some steaks.